channel. My name is Jasmine. I am a lash artist from Philadelphia. Um, the name of my brand is JN Beauty. My first name is Jasmine. My middle name is Nadira. That's where the JN and then Beauty come from. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at JN Beauty with three underscores. Um, yeah, so I basically want to come on here and tell you a little bit about myself and how I became a lash artist and why I became and, you know, just introduce myself, um, firstly. Um, I'm 22. Um, I'm from Philadelphia. So, right now, I am a home-based lash artist and I will tell you why when I get into my story. So, I first started doing lashes fresh out of high school. Um, I went to a high school where I did a trade and I also had, um, regular high school curriculum. So, I graduated with my cosmetology license. I knew I liked every, I knew I liked beauty, but I didn't want to do hair. I knew hair just wasn't something that interests me too much, but I knew I wanted to do something in the beauty industry. I hope that makes sense. Um, maybe like esthetician. So that's probably what I want to do. I want to do like esthetician stuff, like facials. So I used to always want to do brows, facials. But when I was in high school, I used to always like wear mascara. Like mascara was me. Like I used to cake it up. I used to, um, always just put it on because I felt like lashes kind of made my face. But I didn't know about lash extensions, and I didn't want to go to the Chinese people because I know they used to clump the lashes on, and it was just too much. So when I graduated high school, I was working at the airport part-time, and I was working downtown at Walgreens. So I had two jobs going on, um, hustling, you know, making money. So um, I, found, I found out about lashes. I, I was on Instagram, and I was strolling, and I seen people having lash classes, and I didn't know what it was about. So I looked it up on Google, found out what it was. I text my girlfriend and I'm like, yo, I think I want to do lashes. I think it's something, you know, I want to, I want to side hustle. I want to make some extra money. I don't want to work two jobs. So, um, she sent me, um, this girl on Instagram who was having lash classes for like $500. So I hit the girl up. I'm like, you know, Hey, I'm interested in doing a lash course with you. You know, da da da. she was like, it's going to be $500. You all send a $200 deposit. So I sent her the deposit, you know, ready for the course. I took the course. Um, it was an okay course. We had a live model. Um, wasn't much to it. Didn't learn everything. I can say I learned the basics. Most of the stuff I did learn was on my own. I can say she was a great instructor, but it was okay. I'm not going to say anything bad, you know, keep it strictly professional. So it was, it was an okay class. So, however, um, jump right into it. Um, so, I started lashing. Like, she told me to get all my supplies from Amazon. So, I, I got all my, I got my lash bed, my chair, got all my products, my glue, my lashes from Amazon. I set up shop in my, my room. I, at this time, I live with my mom and my brothers. I have six brothers, um, by the way. So, I used to have my girlfriends come over, get their lashes done in my room. And it would take me, like, oh, my God, it would take me, like, four hours four hours to lash someone and i know they were so mad because they had to lay there for four hours shout out to my girlfriends because child i don't know what i'll do without them so it, it wasn't even full like it took me like four hours to get like four lashes on like it was it was bad it was bad so um but because i didn't have a good foundation though like when you have a good foundation you know what you're doing you can feel confident i didn't have that foundation i didn't have that that start, that runner start, you know, I, I I didn't know much. I just thought the 500 cool, I was going to be the best lash artist. I was going to make all this money. I was just going to get, you know, I was going to do everything. I didn't know jack. Like, I didn't know nothing. I didn't know how to market. I didn't know how to, I didn't know products. I didn't even know how to isolate for real. Like, child, it was horrible. Um, so, um... So anyway, I lashed out of my bed. I was still working part time at the time, and then I read, at the time I also was going to school, so I was going to community college at the time, um, part time. So I was taking like three classes at community, but then I was I was in school for dental hygiene, so I used to like teeth a lot. So I'm like I'm gonna be a dentist. So I used to, and everybody was like, oh, going to medical field, you know, you're gonna always make money, blah blah blah. You know how them people are, be like, oh, going to medical field, be a nurse, be be something. So I knew nursing wasn't it, so I'm gonna be a dentist. Dennis was not for me. I ain't gonna hold you the medical terminology, the science classes, the math classes. It just wasn't for me. So I switched my major um, down the road to business. Um, so I switched to business. So I was working at the um, airport part time, um, lashing. Really wasn't taking it serious because I didn't know much. You know, I, I wasn't seeing the results fast. I wanted it quick. 
I wanted to, I wanted to make money like that, and I wasn't. I thought I was going to jump into the industry, just popping off dollars, making everything, and it wasn't like that. I didn't know all that I know now to get the money that I have now. So I wish I would have known that before. But um, I was working at the airport part time. Again, um, not really taking lashes serious. I used to be like, I'm not lashing. I'm gonna just go to the airport. It's a steady paycheck. You know what I gotta lose. So then my friend that did my hair, she was like, won't you come down to the shop? Come work at the shop. You know, I help you get clients. We can build you up, blah, blah, blah. So I was charging like $75 for lashes at the time. I was only doing classic sets. So I went down to the shop. It was pretty cool. Um, it was like a little cooped up mirror window. Um, not much space in the shop. Um, but she was charging me like 40% of my money. And then not to mention, it was 45 minutes away from where I lived because I lived in Southwest at the time, like closer to the airport. So and she was all the way up like Mount Airy, Philadelphia. I don't know if y'all familiar with the area, but she was all the way up Mount Airy. So it was like really, really far for me to get back and forth. Then I had to drive from school to there. It was just so much. So um, at that time, I kind of, um, I was still at the shop. I stayed there for like three months, I can say. It did grow my clientele, but I wasn't keeping them. You know, I was getting clients because they were hers. But I wasn't keeping them, and it was because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I was taking three hours for a classic set. It wasn't lasting. I didn't know how to isolate. I didn't have the proper material. I didn't know what I was doing. And that's why it's so important. When you sign up for a class, you make sure you pick an excellent trainer. If you do not have a good foundation, your career is going to start off wrong, and you're going to get discouraged. And that's what happened to me. I got discouraged. I kept wanting to give up, kept wanting to quit. Kept putting, I kept making all these excuses why I shouldn't do it instead of making excuses on to why I should do it. So I was losing hope in myself, thinking that this just wasn't something for me. You know, and I told everybody, I'm like, man, I can't do this. I'm going to just go back to work. So I stopped lashing for a while. Yes, I stopped lashing for a while. I went right to work. Child, a couple months later, they fired me. Mm. They fired me for my job. Um, over some petty stuff, they fired me from my job. Um, at the time, I, I was going through a rough patch in my life, too. I had a lot going on, but that's like a whole nother story. Um, they fired me from my job, and I'm like, damn, like, what, what am I going to do now? Like, I, I got fired for no reason. I was depressed, man. I was depressed for months. You know, I was on the phone with my friends. I was on the phone with my boo. Like, man, I'm depressed. I don't know what to do. And he like, oh, I got you, I got you. And I'm like, no, you don't got me. Like, I need, I need my money. Like, you know what I mean? So, um, you know, so at the time I was getting an appointment. I was um, applying for other jobs. Nobody would hire me. And I was like, what is God trying to tell me? Is he trying to tell me something? Like, is he telling me something that I don't, I can't see? So nobody would hire me. I went on like seven interviews, bro. And nobody would hire me. Nobody. So, um, I was, at the time I had left that person shop in Mount Airy cause I had stopped lashing. I went to another shop in North Philly. So I went to her shop thinking, okay, I'm gonna go to this shop. I'm gonna try to start off fresh, clean slate, practice my craft, get into it a little bit more. I got into it, was building my clients, was getting into it, doing research, talking to people, networking people, getting my name out there. I got business cards. I got loyalty cards. I'm trying to give like the best customer service ever. And one thing I do regret, I used to look at people's pictures on Instagram. I used to compare myself. Oh, she doing this. I'm not doing that. That is one thing that you do not want to do in this industry or any industry you in. Do not compare yourself to anybody else's work. Because I was comparing myself to people work who've been in the industry for 10 years and who was invested in themselves. I wasn't invested. I took one little lash class and thought I was going to just be this popping lash tech and thought I was going to bring in so much revenue, so much income, not knowing that I took a class that was bull crap and then I didn't learn much and I had to figure things out on my own. So I had to, I had to work it out on my own. So I was at the shop at the time. I really wasn't focused at the shop either. I was traveling. Mind you, I had the unemployment coming in. So I was traveling. I was in LA. I was in New Orleans. I was in freaking Bahamas. I was all over in the summer. That employment ran out. I had to get back to work. You know, my mom, I didn't grow up from a, a home where my mom was breaking me off. My mom very poor. I come from a poor family. Um, not even going to say middle class. I came from a poor family. I mean, dirt poor. I mean, we used to eat, you know, 
mayonnaise sandwiches. Like, that's how poor it was. Sugar water. Like, that's how poor it was. So, but my mom is a strong person. So, she made her way. So, um, but I knew I didn't want to live like that. And I didn't know I want my children living like that. So, I had to make a way to do things for myself. So, I started hustling. I started, you know, grinding. I started, um, you know, doing referral codes. I started passing out cards. I started getting t-shirts made. You know, marketing myself. Mind you, I never knew nothing about this until I had to do my research. You know, sometimes we wait on other people to support us. We wait on people to give us a handbook like, here, here you go. This is how you be successful. That's not how it works. Sometimes we got to get up and do things ourselves, guys. We got to we gotta kind of do it because everybody is not going to give you all the gems they know. Nobody is going to really give you everything they know and they say they are. And that's one thing I hate about um, these last class people. They don't tell you everything. Like my class, I tell you everything. Everything I used, everything I went through, all the struggles I've been through. People make it seem like it happened overnight. And that's not what happens in this industry. This does not happen overnight. Um, I want to tell y'all to keep going, like keep going, keep focusing, keep doing what you got to do. During that time, I took another lash class. Um, I took a volume class. I took a volume course because I knew classic was like dead and out. I'm like, you know, everybody classic was falling off, you know, thin. It wasn't nothing. So I knew I wanted to hit up the volume. You know, I wanted to do some with volume. So at the time, um, I had left the, the salon though. I had left the salon. It was really, really toxic in the salon. It was a hair salon. It wasn't like a lash boutique. So sometimes, like, when they bleach in hair and I've got my adhesive, it will cause kind of, like, retention issues. I don't know if anybody worked in the salon and it was, like, people walking over her, my client's head. They didn't like it. The neighborhood wasn't good. And honestly, I felt stagnant. So I felt like in a point in my business, I was, I had clientele, but I felt stagnant. I wasn't growing like I wanted to. I needed to be focused. I needed to rejuvenate myself. I needed to, to, to take time to myself, understand what am I doing, map out what I'm doing, and make a plan for it. So at the time, I left the salon, and um, I started lashing from home, my apartment. I started lashing from my apartment, um, and I, I took that time to really focus. Once you're in your box, like you focus on yourself, that's when everything comes together. I don't know about anybody else, but for me, when I'm alone, and when I'm focused, that's when I'm mapping my business plans out. That's when I'm writing my goals down. That's when I'm figuring out what I need to do to get to the next level. So um, I took my class after I had left the salon. I took in my, my volume class with some girl in Chicago. She was an excellent um, teacher. She was good. She was okay. I'm not going to say, you know, she was the best, but she was pretty good, you know. So I learned volume from her and... Ever since then, you know, I will practice day and night. When I tell you, when you learn volume extensions, it's not going to happen then and there. And stop going on YouTube thinking you can go on YouTube thinking that you can learn how to do it because it is not easy. Volume is not easy. And I tell anybody that from right now, it took me so long to get good at volume. And I'm still perfecting my craft. I'm still practicing. I'm up every night. I'm trying different lashes, different glue. I'm more so focused on volume because that's where the money was. I knew classic, it was good, it was good money, but volume, you know, I get more creative in volume. I can I can do more um tech, I can do more styles in volume. People want that big bold look now. You know, they last longer for one. Um, they're fluffier, they're darker. People with thin lashes can get them. So it was like I was I wanted that that clientele, I wanted that diverse clientele. I wanted the clientele where I can be dramatic, but I also can be natural at the same time. So I wanted to be that lash tech that can have the variety of styles. And that's what I am. And that's what I base my business off of, having a variety of styles. If you want classic lashes, you want natural, I'm going to give you natural. If you want dramatic, I can give you dramatic. And that's the type of lash tech I am because I want to accommodate everybody. So when I st so now I'm still still working from home. I'm working on um, building something for myself, saving up money, hopefully getting the shop soon. I'm still building my clientele. I cannot say I'm real comfortable with the clientele I have now, but I am going to tell you that I have the best clients in the world. Okay, my clients are there. They're loyal, um, some of them, but they're loyal and they always come back. They're supportive. And um, when I left the salon, they followed me to my house, you know, um, and they've just been rocking with me ever since. Um, and I love them for that. And if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be who I am today. And if it wasn't for me, um, just going through what I went through, the struggles, I wouldn't got far in my business. So when I tell you this to say that if you are a lash artist and you, and you feel like you want to give up, don't give up. 
invest in yourself. Once the more knowledge you know, the more confident. So when you go around, you looking at lash classes, you want to be an artist, and you looking at these three hundred dollar classes, you need to understand that you're going to get three hundred dollars worth of knowledge. That's it. They're not going to tell you much. Your kid ain't going to be much, and you need to understand what you're dealing with. Get a good foundation. Set yourself up for a good teacher. You know, I offer classes. I offer volume and classic classic volume and classic training. Sorry, and um, it. I, I know how it is. So I make sure when I implement my classes, I tell everything, everything I've been through, all the products I use, where I got it from, um, how much I spent. I let everybody know everything. You know, I learned so much on my own just by trial and error, just by trying certain things. You know, you don't, don't listen to everybody. Try it out yourself. You know, do things on your own. Be, be creative with lashes, you know, cause this, this can make or break. Like this has literally changed my life like literally i was broke like when i tell you broke like i was broke i come from a poor family i had nothing so now that i'm doing lash now that i'm doing lashes i have the ability to do things on my own terms and live life the way i want to live and spend money how i want to spend it and work when i want to work so to live out your dreams and you know stay motivated keep going and never let nobody tell you what you can't do what you can do so um, I don't want to hold you up too much. Um, that's a little bit about my story, and I hope you can. I hope you like, subscribe it. I hope you learn something from today, and I plan on posting more videos in the future. Follow my Instagram. You guys can DM me anything you want. Ask me any question. Um, I'm willing to answer. So um, yeah. Um, I hope to see you next time, guys. Thank you for watching my channel.